of Lincoln Center Theatre's landscape is the iconic posters. So who's behind them? You're about to find out. You've done how many now? Just about? Uh, I think I'm working on my 83rd. Your 83rd poster. poster. James McMullen's posters are the first glimpse one gets before ever seeing a play or musical. In advance of any rehearsal, McMullen puts his imprint on what will be forever associated with the production. And getting a preview for inspiration? That's not part of his process. Do you go to the, to the rehearsals at all, ever? No, Never. No, it's I mean, all you, about reading. It's all, all about, about reading. reading, yeah. And I would read the plays two, three times, you know. I like to immerse myself in these stories and think about them. And, you know, how can you reduce this hugely complex idea to one, right. <laughs> you know, sure. one image? And that, that game really interests me a lot. And that's a game McMullen has played as Lincoln Center Theater's principal poster artist for over 30 years. His genre has illustrated a variety of productions, from Six Degrees of Separation and the Sisters Rosenzweig, to revivals like Anything Goes and The King and I. So this was my first idea that I, I wanted it to be extremely colorful, mm -hmm. and I wanted the, the words, The King and I, to be actually sort of embedded in the art. He gave us a play-by-play -play on how he created the poster for Ten Unknowns, starring Donald Sutherland. It's the story of an artist with artist's block, secluded in Mexico. This was a sketch that I thought, this is what I want to do, you know. And he's in Mexico, so, the, you know, I wanted the sense of heat. And then I began to search for friends of mine who would be willing to, to pose, uh, to pose in, in that. Somewhere along the way, the star of the play became available, and um, I showed Donald, and he said, okay, and he just gave me these incredible variations. Look at you know, these expressions. Oh, they're wonderful. Yeah. You know, they're so wonderful. So that the poster became much more about his face and what was mm -hmm. in his face. That's the That's final the, painting. Yeah. And this is the, you know, how it was all put together wow. as, a, uh, as a poster. I always have to find the connecting point for me. You know, what in this play has some glue to my own experience, my psychology, my craziness, you know? In most cases, I can find it. James McMullen was born in China 83 years ago. His idyllic childhood took a turn when World War II broke out. His father joined the Allied forces, and young Jim traveled from country to country with his mother. It's all told in his beautifully illustrated childhood memoir, Leaving China, where among many anecdotes, his love of art plays a significant role throughout his life. After moving to the U.S., he joined the Army, then attended Pratt Institute of Art. McMullen drew book covers and became an artist for the newly created New York Magazine in the late 60s. Since then, McMullen has created over 80 posters, and this octogenarian just finished his latest poster for a new play, Pipeline, which will premiere this month. It's amazing that something as simple as a locker can establish the idea that it's a school, <laughs> that it's depressing, <laughs> and that there are secrets involved because of all these locks. This is very telling. I mean, it, it says so much about what the play is about without really giving it away. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. certainly curious. Yeah. About it. Well, it, the play's a lot about the inner turmoil of this boy. The idea of him being tormented and at the same time fleeing something and being oppressed by something. Um, it's all there. I, I, <laughs> I managed to get it into one, one image, yeah. It's a level of thinking, you know, of, of pondering and of reflecting on what the play is about. and. Um, thinking of the associations that I have both to my own life, like describing my view of South Pacific. And South Pacific, the 2008 Tony winner for Best Musical Revival, is a perfect example of how McMullen sees eye to eye with its Tony Award winning director, Bartlett Shear. So when we made the poster of South Pacific, we looked at Gauguin and all these weird sort of tropical things and then began building what images should be in it. And then the other part that I think he does great is the lettering. So he'll do the, the font really beautifully for that South Pacific, and it follows the production everywhere it goes. He's got a great ability to capture the inner life of the piece that 
sort of lives with it and introduces you to it without solving it for you. This year, Lincoln Center Theater did something unprecedented. It honored McMullen's work by creating a permanent exhibit of his original paintings for his posters in the lobby of the Vivian Beaumont Theater. So Jim, I mean, you've got this whole entire wall here dedicated to you. How does it feel to see an exhibit like this for you? Uh, well, <laughs> it's a huge history, and uh, the, the, I think the way the art changes subtly so that it reflects, you know, me getting older. What do you love most about what you do? What I love most is that it keeps me in the moment. It makes me feel alive, you know, this inner thing of how exciting it is to invent things and to draw things and to paint things, that it never becomes sort of my job of work. You know, it's always exciting to, to do that. Mm -hmm.